สวัสดีค่ะ Welcome to the third episode of my special series, the five colors of Thai rice. So we've looked at white and brown jasmine rice, and now we're going to move on to something a little more colorful, and that is the red rice. So what is red rice? Well. Similar to brown rice, red rice is also a whole grain rice. That means you still have the bran, and that's the red little jackets around each grain, and you've got the germ. So you can expect it to be high in vitamins, in minerals, and in fiber. So it's definitely a healthier option than white rice. And fun fact: the red color on red rice is a phytonutrient called anthocyanin, which is actually what's responsible for many fruits and vegetables' red, blue, or purple color. Such as blueberries and eggplant, and you can find Thai red rice actually in many supermarkets these days. But they do come under different names. This one is called Thai red vita rice. I've seen it called red cargo rice or just Thai red rice. In Thailand, there are actually several varieties of rice that are red. However, they're similar enough that, for all intents and purposes, we can refer to them as a group. And to cook Thai red rice, super easy. Just like brown rice, I like to give it a rinse just in case you know there's a stray hull or flakes. It'll float to the top, and you can just pour that off. And then I cook it in just a rice cooker or a stove top using one part rice to one and a half parts water. Now you may need to add a little more depending on the particular rice and also your preference. If you like really soft rice. Just add a little more, and what you want to look for is that the little red bran jackets have burst open. So if you look closely, each grain will have swollen enough that the red part is bloop open. That's how you know it's nice and soft. And then definitely give it a taste, and it should be soft and tender. If it's not, don't panic. Just add a little more water. Keep it cooking a little bit more, and you can also do half red, half white rice if you're just kind of getting started. And if you want to do that, check out the website post for this video. I'll include some more tips and details on how to get that out perfectly. And oh, by the way, just like brown rice, you don't want to cook this rice using the pasta method because you're going to be draining away all the nutrients. So red rice is a little bit heartier than brown rice, but the flavor should be very, very neutral. So I find it goes well with anything that you make, um, and it should be soft and tender. Yes, the bran will give it a little bit of a texture, but it shouldn't feel tough. Look at that. Now you can use red rice anywhere you would normally use brown rice. You can make fried rice with it. You can throw it into salads. It makes a beautiful congee if you mix it with um, half white, half red rice. I also want to show you um, red rice that I made mixed with white rice, white jasmine rice, and look at that. Look, it's like party rice. <laughs> And as we talked about before, you can freeze red rice in little individual portions, and then all you have to do is microwave it for 90 seconds, and it'll be as soft and fluffy as new. And that concludes our third episode of the Five Colors of Thai Rice series. We've done white, brown, and now red. Hmm, I wonder what's gonna be next. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't done so, so you don't miss an episode. If you've got more questions about anything we talked about, get in touch with me on Facebook. Twitter or Instagram, and I will see you next time. สวัสดีค่ะ